All right, level 23, Maggie. Challenge, do a checkup on Maggie. Everything all right? Family emergency? Yeah, it's fine. Just romantic relationships, you know? Sounds complicated. Yeah, it certainly seems it. But should it be? No. Ideally not. I don't understand why he texts me all day at work. It's annoying. Yeah, seriously, doesn't the dude have anything to do? Well, tell him. I don't want to hurt his feelings, though. Okay. Okay. If you're with someone and telling them that... Like, please don't text me all the time at work. It's annoying and distracting. I need to focus at work. I can talk to you when I'm off work. If that hurts their feelings, or you're afraid that they, that hurts their feelings, that means that you can't talk to that person about things. That, like, that is not a foundation for, like, mutual, like, respect and trust and stuff. If you... If that like legit hurts the other person's feelings like oh i can't message you 24 7 because you need to focus on work instead of me what do you mean like that that no no go away how do you say leave me alone but nicely that's what i mean like explain situation you're at work you can't be dealing with this at work you need to focus when you are at work if that hurts his feelings drop him Officer Murray and Maggie! Who's a good girl? <laughs> and for the annual checkup? Yes, indeed. Police dogs need to be kept tip top condition. Well, hello, Maggie. I'm honored to meet a, meet, blah, I'm honored to meet a local hero. Oh, yeah. Wow, a bazillion new products. Click the indicator spot to disinfect the wound. Have to disinfect some wounds. Awesome. I know exactly what they're doing with the edibles, but they just ask for the surgical scissors or whatever it is, but like okay.
them. Awesome. Those are some very well behaved cats, though. They're doing heal like dogs. Like well behaved dogs, I should say. Trained them. She can also just put her phone on silent, and then if he gets like bitchy about it, just like I was at work, I need to focus at work. I will answer you after work. Stop blowing up my phone. But like, obviously talk first, but then like, put your phone on silent and you won't even know that he's messaging you. There's my good little girl. Ready to roll? As usual, she was the perfect lady. <laughs> no problems at all. She's ready for duty. Well, what do you say to the nice doctors, Maggie? <laughs> it was our pleasure. Oh, I wish I could keep her. <laughs> We're always here for Maggie, Officer Murray. Well, I'll be sure to ask for this great duo next time. It was a pleasure meeting you, Amy. It's nice to see a new friendly face around here. I can believe that with that balls. Perfect. We make monies, yeah. Alright, challenge level 12. Serve full orders only. Oh, okay, so how I normally play. If I don't have any, like, accidental screw-ups. Trying too hard to combo. I'm trying way too hard to combo. Perfect. Sharp. Thank you. 
I know, I know, you had to wait for a while. Alright, level 24, wise guy. Challenge, make sure Newton doesn't cause trouble. <laughs> Stop it! Wow, she just left the door completely open. Nice. Does her grandfather not, like, miss Newton? Just, like... I wonder where Newton is. Oh, I, I guess he said Amy. I mean, I guess she phoned him and it's fine, but... Morning, Jack! Morning, Jack! Is there an echo in here? Who's this little guy? My grandfather's parrot, Newton. Oh, did she take him on purpose? Well, it's nice to meet you, Newton. You're rather clever, aren't you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> Would you mind if he stayed here today? He seemingly decided to just keep following me wherever I go. And he outright refused to stay at home. No problem, so long as he doesn't distract us. Party! Party! <laughs> Alright, wise guy, enough of that. Wow! Normally only listens to my grandfather! <laughs> That was that was a weird tone because I didn't realize what she was saying. I just saw her face. I said, "Wow, normally he just listens to my grandfather." What is this? X-rays will develop quicker with less chance of overexposure. Cleaning faster. Restocking. Renovated or something. Bigger tips. Yes. New lab makes doc makes the doctors happier. Pay more to give their poor hospitalized animals a bit of comfort. Huh. Why are there so few papers though? Where do I get more papers from? Who knows? Okay, I don't know how I... Oh, you can only have one paper at a time, I guess.
stick. Okay, yes, game, thanks. I really thought I did that, but apparently not. Awesome. I'm waiting outside, got us a nice reservation. Okay, Jasper, are you even like asking Amy what she wants? Like, I'm still getting definitely the vibe that he's not actually listening to Amy completely, like a bit, but not completely. He's just like doing his own thing and like expecting her to be like, wow, and just like comply with everything that he wants to do. Like, he's not like super pushy or aggressive it seems but like that's still what he's going for like i'm not i'm not sure he's doing it on purpose like to be mean or that he like legit thinks that like oh i'm better than you like explicitly but that's the vibe he's giving off that he's doing things and just expects her for whatever reason to just be like yes absolutely either because he's used to that or he thinks that's how it works or like it's a bit too much me and a little too little of like listen to Amy and like think for yourself about like okay what does Amy need to do I should ask her before I do make a reservation if she has time like he's a little he doesn't seem to be like meanly self-centered but he's like he's definitely self-centered um could be worse from what I'm gathering but like He's not listening at all. Busy evening tonight? <sighs> yeah, another day with my boyfriend. You don't seem too excited. No, it's not that. I really like him, but, you know, he doesn't actually listen to your life. Like, he, he just, like... He just... It seems like he automatically thinks that what he's doing is great, which I guess is cool, but, like... That his life has precedence. That's the vibe he's giving off. He asked me to move in with him. We've only known each other for a couple of weeks. That's what I'm saying. You don't actually know each other. He's the stranger from the bar, but like a closer, but like you're still getting to know each other. Don't move in with him. <laughs> Seems sounds like a tough decision to make. Not really. The answer is no. What did I say about distractions, wise guy? How are you doing that? I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. I so need to tell you about Newton's stowaway story adventure. A stowaway, huh? Love to hear, th hear it. Come on, I'll walk you out. Oh, okay, Newton? Are you gonna- Okay, I was like... Really? Perfect. Oh, 
I mean, Jasper could, like, just be used to dating people who don't have full-time jobs. Like, you know, stuff like that. But, like, the fact that she feels she can't talk to him about it is clearly a bad sign. You need to be able to talk to people around you. Especially if they friggin' ask you to move in with them and you feel like you can't even tell them I need to focus when I'm at work. I can message with you after work. If you can't even tell them that, don't move in with them. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see ya.